Hi everyone, Technique here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete guide to Cydia. So, for those who don't know Cydia, what Cydia is, uh, go check out my other uh, video, What is iOS Jailbreaking, where I give you a complete overview of what Cydia is, but I'll give you a brief one here. Basically, Cydia is the app store for jailbroken iDevices. Um, and in the future, I will show you a video of how to jailbreak iOS 7. Um, so iOS 7 is the latest firmware for all iDevices currently, except, you know, the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS uh, and a few other devices. But uh, here we go. So once you jailbreak, you have this icon. So let's open it up. So it loads for a little bit and... Um, it's going to be downloading some packages, um, but when you first jailbreak, the first time it may have to restart your Springboard or reboot, um, and that's perfectly normal. So you might have to go through that, but after that, it should be smooth sailing. Um, but for some people uh, who jailbreak, uh, the first jail uh, first city experience is kind of daunting. So hopefully, I can ease some of your pain and go through Cydia with you. So here we go. So I'm going to start from the left and go to the right. So the first thing you'll notice is the About tab at the top left up here. So when you click that, uh, basically you see who made uh, Cydia. So Cydia was made by Jay Freeman, uh, aka Sork, as he's um, mainly known. Uh, and that's basically the copyright information as well. Um, so you also have City on Facebook, Sork on Twitter, um, and then the featured apps here. So these are the featured tweaks in apps on Cydia. And these come in the default repos, which and I'll explain what a repo is later. So here we go. Tools to start with. So I won't go through every app. I'll go I'll give you an overview of every app. Um, in later videos, but I'll just uh, skim through these now. But I suggest for you uh, new uh, jailbroken users to check out Activator, definitely, um, Flux, uh, iFile, and SB Settings, and definitely, sorry, Winterboard, right here. Um, and those are really great tools for all new jailbroken users, so check those out. Uh, next is interface customizations. Um, so an, uh, one example of a great one is Barrel, where you get to add 3D effects to your home screen. Um, also, definitely Zeppelin. Uh, Zeppelin is a free app. It's great. I love it a lot. Next is icon customizations. So I also definitely suggest Winterboard again. And... Hmm. Uh, probably five icon dock in five column springboard for all those people who wish there was more space on the uh, current dock and springboard on unjailbroken devices. Um, next is browser add-ons. Uh, definitely suggest ad blocker. Um, and yeah, so those uh, definitely check out uh, browser customizations. Next is calling improvements for all of those iPhone 5s users out there. Uh, who are jailbroken uh, in any other phone, but these are also great. I haven't tried any of these out because I don't have an iPhone, but wh whoever does, tell me what you think about these, because next time I get an iPhone, I will definitely try these out. Um, next is typing enhancements. Uh, definitely suggest swipe selection for all you iPhone users out there. It makes typing so much easier. Um, uh, next is notification center widgets. Um, I definitely suggest SB settings again, but I don't think it's been updated to iOS 7, so it may still have the iOS 6 skin. Uh, next is annoyance fixers for all those pet peeves that you have in non-jailbroken devices. These will be covered here. Uh, then file managers and shares. Definitely suggest iFile and mobile terminal. Mobile terminal is basically a command prompt for your iDevice. Oh, and definitely, 
definitely open SSH. Uh, next is security and privacy tools. I try to uh, I caught you. It's pretty cool. Check that out as well. Uh, then screen extension options. Uh, definitely check out uh, Display Recorder, which I'm using now, and also VNC, which is a VNC server. Um, and CDA package helpers. You don't really need to know about these if you are a, uh, a new a newly uh, if you if you just started jailbreaking, but these are helpful. Then there's administrative information. So next is themes, um, and most themes cost money. So we're going to want to set up a, well not most themes, mo uh, some themes cost money. So you're going to want to set up a PayPal account at Manage Account where you can uh, buy tweaks, themes, and apps. So you can connect with Facebook or sign on Google. So they're only used for authentication. Amazon payments and PayPal are used for billing. Um, then there's some advertising space for Barrel and Messages Plus. There's upgrading and jailbreaking help. Definitely check this out if you are new to jailbreaking. Uh, then this TSS Center. Um, I, this is for uh, older devices, so I'm assuming that you don't have an older device, since most people don't. Uh, but check this out if you do. Um, then there's more package sources. So this is like a list of new uh, sources you can add to Cydia to get you more tweaks, apps, and themes. Um, and you add sources by going to the sources tab, which is second from the right, clicking, oops, uh, clicking edit, add in the top left, and then entering the sources information. But I think everything that you'll need is in the default repos here. So that's basically this. Um, there's also different languages and stuff for those people who aren't uh, English speaking. Then there's uh, more advertising space for my Y7. Zephyr and 3G Unrestrictor. So definitely check these out, these apps out as well. And um, there's an FAQ. Check that out. Uh, then copying files to and from device. Open SSH. If you don't know what that is, go check it out. It's kind of in depth, so uh, I can't really explain it in a 10 minute video, but definitely check it out. Then there's root password how to, uh, community jailbreak QA support, uh, and then jailbreak on Reddit. Definitely check those out. And then there's some developers only stuff and your credits and privacy policy. Then there's useful extensions on iPad and products designed for iPad, which I'll definitely be doing uh, reviews or end overviews on all of these apps. So stay tuned for that. Then there's a reload button in the top left, which uh, just refreshes all of your um, tweaks and themes that you, that you have installed. Uh, then this is the sections tab where everything is organized into a nice alphabet alphabetical uh, index for you, and it contains all of your tweaks, themes, and things like that. Then there's the changes tab, uh, which is all which has all of the new um, tweaks, themes, and apps added. Um, so that's where you see all these and the blue. The tweaks and themes and apps with the blue uh, text indicate that they are uh, paid apps, so you have to pay with your PayPal account for these. Um, then there's installed, um, and this is where you can find all of your installed tweaks, themes, and apps. Uh, so here you go. Uh, then there's a simple version, uh, and then there's the expert version. So I think I have simple version on, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, and then next there is sources. So you can add and delete any sources. Uh, and when you add and delete sources, you get access to new apps, themes, and uh, tweaks. So check that out as well. Uh, but as I said before, all you'll, really, all you'll really need is the default sources for all the great apps and tweaks and themes. Um, so in the top left corner, there's the settings tab. So click that and you can identify who you are. Uh, if you just click user, which I have, uh, you just have your apps, tweaks, and themes. Click hacker. You have your command line tools and then developer. Everything, including scary internal stuff. So if you, if you feel brave, uh, check out hacker and developer. So next is the search tab. Here we go. 
Let me just delete activator, which I had. Um, so this allows you to search all of the apps, tweaks, and themes that you have in your sources. So everything that is in your sources will be indexed in the sections tab, which then can be searched with the search tab. Sorry if that's a little bit confusing, but it really isn't. Um, so if you just type in, say, OXO, which is a great uh, multitasking app um, on the default sources, you can find OXO2 for iOS 7, OXO for iPad. So let's click on OXO2 for iOS 7. Um, this is pretty cool. I should get this. Um, so check this out as well. Uh, so it's pretty easy to use the search uh, function functionality. Um, and that's about it for uh, a complete guide to Cydia. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like and please subscribe. And any if there's any questions or anything that I left out, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd be glad to answer them. Um, so this is about it. So stay tuned for more content. Uh, see you next time. Bye.